Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12, playing on the Direwolf 20 mod pack. What are we doing today? Well, first, let's turn around, put on our clothes as we do, and we'll bring back the HUD and see who we're on with. Wild Trekker is on here. Okay, let's turn around. I want to do something real quick before we get into today's main topic. We're going to be working on our farms, and we're going to be automating things for that. But I want to come over here and just take care of a few a few things. We've had a number of comments about this particular setup over here, and I want to address them. So when I first did the bee breeding or the bee start episode, I didn't know about the different types of hives and apiaries and all that fun stuff. And I realize now this is called a bee house, not an apiary, a bee house. Okay. All of them are bee houses. Apparently the... Uh, Forestry train gen does not give you an apiary straight out, and, and that makes sense. But we're not going to be dealing with this today. No, 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 no. We are going to be working on automated farms. Uh, we don't need two drones there. We're just going to collect things and, and take care of this. It is manual, but right now I am not in a mode of of uh, fixing this. So um, we'll we'll get to that in a bit. But the the bee houses, you cannot pull items out of them and you can't put items into them. So no automation, period. And uh, so we're just going to leave them right like that. Well, and since we can fly, it's pretty easy to get back and forth. So not a problem. We'll just come back over here. I've automated a little bit. Very simple. We'll just chuck all the combs in there and then we'll see what we've got. Got some honey drops. Okay. Good. You know what? We've got places in our storage for the other two items, so we will take care of that as well. And something I showed last time, let's put this here and here. Sugar's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Sugar can go into the cabinet. And then we go up here, grab our apiarist backpack, and boom. All right. And there we go. Now portable analyzer we will load that up with the fuel and that's all we're doing okay no more bees for today what are we going to do we are going to get into some automated farms and so we're going to take care of uh well everything that i've got here we're going to get rid of these farms so we can start doing some building around here as well we've done we've done a lot of technical projects not much building and you can see this thing is ugly but we're gonna we're gonna take care of it don't worry We've got to get the farm out of the way though. So I can build a bridge over to my power generation island over there. So the way we're gonna be doing that is with none other than immersive engineering. And so the main thing that you do for immersive engineering farming is called the garden cloche, I believe it. Yeah, garden cloche. So that's the recipe right there. We are going to build 11 of them. And I realized as I was thinking about this, we actually need 12, but uh, we'll, we'll take care of that at a later point. So um, before we get going, uh, one of those items, okay, we come here, vacuum tube. We've got to do this on the engineer's workbench, and that's going to require some copper wire. So what we will do is come here, grab this copper wire, and we should be able to do this and this. And nope. Plenty of power. Boom. Okay. Okay. And we'll let that run. We'll come back to that in a little bit. We also need a uh, the crafting components blueprint. And that's the recipe right there. We got iron, aluminum, or aluminium, depending on where you are in the English-speaking world, and copper. And then I'm using floral blue powder because I haven't gone mining again, and so I don't have any lapis. So pretty simple. And we will chuck this in. Uh, we'll grab this one out. Can we do that? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now we can. Excellent. All right. So uh, next order of business, we need to go grab our, our copper wires. Okay. And then do we have any glass over here? I didn't put any in there. And so that means we're going to have to go this way and none in there. There we go. There's some glass. We'll grab that. All right. This. And then we should be able to come in here. 
and engineers blueprints we want vacuum tube do like that and anything else what what do we need to do for this hmm garden cloche vacuum tube engineers workbench what's this thing that's the engineers workbench Vacuum tube, glass. I'm missing something. Redstone. That's it. Redstone. So let's do this. We'll go grab some redstone over here. Uh, should be good. Yeah, I'm sorry for this. We we need to work on our overall crafting and and uh, set up here. So we'll grab 15 of those. We might use them in the future. And then we'll come here and put those up top. Okay. Next up, we need the iron mechanical component. Okay. What's that take? A bunch of iron plates and some copper. Thankfully, I've got the recipe for a bunch of iron plates right here. And we can take care of all of those. And Wild Trekker sleeping. Thank you, Wild Trekker. And... Was I supposed to make all of those? I think I was. Okay, we'll do that. And that. Iron mechanical component. Good. And we'll grab the garden cloches. And we still got a little bit of items left over. All right. So the next order of business um, is this right here. We're going to need some leadstone flux duct to move the energy around. And we're also going to need a sink. I just decided to get uh, to do three because I don't know if we'll, we'll need more than one. Uh, but the sink really makes things easy here in modded. We'll do that right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. Let's just make this real quick. It is the igneous extruder. We're going to put this machine frame in here and then we'll put the redstone reception coil right in here. I think it's the, yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this because I I want some obsidian and then I realized you have to provide lava to it. So yeah. Anyway, not not quite what I'm what I had been intending on doing. So next order of business, we've got our garden cloches, and then we need a a manner of getting electricity or RF to it, not RF, IF actually. So we'll grab one of those and then uh, we'll come over this way and we'll set them all up in a line. Uh, let's see, what is chunk loaded around here? Not, not the trash can, what's chunk loaded? We've got this area is chunk loaded. Hmm. And any others are chunk loaded? Let's see. Hmm. Well, well, we could just take up the this the rest of this back here. Alright, so what are we gonna do? We're going to lay out these garden cloches all in a line. Um and we've got eleven of them. But, I, yeah, I don't know. If, it's not the most efficient, but it's certainly going to make things easier. It's not, not necessarily the most efficient, but there we go. They look pretty cool. Uh, and then... I don't know how items get out of there. We do need a block on the bar... And then we'll put down a sink. And then we need to get some fluid duct. I think I've got some not there, not there, in here. That's hardened fluid duct. You can't mix and match. We've got that one. Okay, that should be good. And then item transfer stuff. We've got item ducts there. So we'll do... Hmm... We would need servos for all of those. I don't know if I want to do that. We do have a bunch of transfer nodes. 
We'll start with that for the time being. Maybe make a few more transfer nodes. What do those require? Chests and chiseled stone and redstone. We've got redstone, but no chiseled stone. We can grab... Where's that? And then a chest. Do we have any in here? No. No, but... Okay, we should have enough to do one of these. And then transfer nodes. Excellent. So we got, got 11. Okay. Now, um, another thing I need to do, maybe grab one of those, one of those, and then that, that, that. Oh, and I'm full, full to the brim already. What can we throw away? Yes, I, I now have a messed up inventory so dadcraft i think would be proud we'll put the rest of those vacuum tubes in there and then put the stone away excellent all right so i think i've picked up what uh everything i need we are going to need a couple of pieces of sand where did i put that it's going to take some time to get used to even this setup do i have nether rack or nether wart yes Okay, so we'll do that. Can we set this up, however? We can do that, put in another. Okay, and now we don't have any electricity or water flowing to it. So we'll see how that goes. And maybe item, no, no, fluid duct. We will need a servo for this. And where is that? A couple of servos there. And then how about some blocks on the bar? Some maybe another rack. Why not? Let's go for another rack here. Okay. And then we'll do another rack right there. We'll put power cell right there. And then we will string leadstone flux ducts all the way across. I think they go on the top here. At least. That's what I'm hoping. Okay. And then we should be able to go into the UI here. There's no... Oh, you know why? Because this needs to send out. Oh, it's filling up. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay, so all of them are filling up. Good. And next order of business is we need to get some of this fluid duct attached here. So we'll try this. And no redstone. Does this fill up with water? Yes, it does. Excellent. And now we don't have... Um, well... We need, we kind of need a, an output. Where does that go? Okay, it goes there. And then let's see if this works. That may not work. It may have to go here. Or maybe it only goes when there is an associated inventory. So that's where our ender chest is going to come into play. And we're setting up a right mess over here. Just throwing stuff willy-nilly wherever we can. And that's the name of the game I have found in modded, at least to start. So we'll do that and transfer, transfer pipe. Is that going to do it? It's not pulling from there. Maybe it's got to come from here. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry for that. We'll put that right there. And then I don't have my, I don't have my, you know what? We'll, we'll just do this. Let's go here. Grab that guy. Grab, 
Grab that to transfer node, and then we'll put the ender chest right like that. And we should have netherrack coming in like so. Okay, now the next order of business, we need to fill this up with dirt and with sand. I did have sand over here, I thought. There it is. We need a couple of those. Because why not? And then we will string some fluid duct all the way along here, like so. Okay. And then we can go into this one. We'll put a piece of sand and a cactus. And then we'll put a piece of sand and sugar cane. Excellent. And then let's put away all the rest of our junk here. Not there. Igneous extruder. We'll come... Will we come? I don't know if we'll come back to that today. I don't know. We'll see. We should no. We'll need more of those, and and we'll need that. But we don't need the server anymore. We don't need the item duct, and I don't think we need the sink. So we'll get canola seeds, potato, carrot. Those seeds are regular wheat seeds. We also need the uh, what are the what is that called? Industrial hemp seeds. That yeah, that would be good. Coffee. Is that coffee? Now that's canola. Coffee seeds? Yes, because everybody loves coffee. I love coffee. And I know other people love coffee. So so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. What else did we say we were gonna I think I think that's it. We need some dirt though. So let's grab where did I put that? A couple stacks, that's way too much. But hey. It works. So we'll come along here uh, and put down transfer nodes like so. All the way along. And then we'll need to do a little bit of chunk loading magic, but uh, we'll also need to take care of potential problems that we may run into with our, our setup here. So we don't have... Um, what do we not have? We don't have enough storage space for this so we're gonna have to come up with um, we're gonna have to put in some of those upgrades like we did last time so put some coffee in here okay so canola hemp coffee then we'll go with where where did all that dirt go oh it went in there weird okay We'll just do this okay this one carrot and wheat and potato and flax anything else was there something else i was supposed to be growing we got cactus cactus hemp sugar cane and canola coffee lilac Wheat, carrot, potatoes, spinach, but I haven't been able to get spinach yet. We got nether wart in there growing. Okay, so so all in all, not not too shabby. Let's come in and give nether wart a spot at the table. I realize we haven't put anything or put that up here yet. Where's that going to go? We'll put that there. Okay. And then I think we can just put the rest of that stuff away and we'll put this away. Now, Igneous Extruder. I'm just going to put this down and we'll take a look at it. It requires RF and then you have to put in lava and water. So a lava source and a water source. Um, it, it doesn't make much sense unless I'm quarrying the, the nether. So I don't think we're going to be doing the igneous extruder we just made that for no reason and then over here uh, what do we need to do is we need to chunk load this area as well okay so we've got plenty of items rolling in now it's not going to be the quickest but um you know what it's it is going to help a little bit now another thing we need to do is we need to speed up our our servo right here and I'm not sure what we should do in that regard. How are we doing over here? So far, so good. And a little bit of a backlog going in. 
Yeah, we need to speed up that servo. So let's see what we can do with that servo. And the item duct itself is not, not the fastest. Let's see what we can do. So we'll do servos. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Okay, that's reinforced signalum. Okay, enderium, speed boost. Okay. Well, there's that one, but the problem is we need Enderium, and Enderium is rather, rather involved. Enderium blend, lead, lead, bunch of lead, platinum, and Ender. And I only have like one platinum, two platinum. So... Maybe we go with the signalum. What's that going to involve? That's pretty intense. Molten signalum. We'll go with alloying. Copper, silver, destabilized redstone. Okay, well, we've got some destabilized redstone. So maybe we make up some signalum ingots. Um, we got this right here. And what else we need? I just had it open. Let's see if we can get this again. Copper and silver. So it looks like three parts copper, one part silver. That's silver, one part silver. Okay, we'll do that. Let's chuck all of this into our smeltery. Uh, do we have anything, say, in... No, nothing. Nothing in our... Uh, alloy kiln so we'll do that and we'll take this and chuck it in there okay and then that'll melt up and we'll see if we can get some signal out of it you have already gone through all of this stuff and we are chock full of tiny dry rubber so maybe we turn this off turn that off okay now what do we have over here molten signalum Excellent. So we'll grab, not that one, we'll grab the ingot cast. And we'll put our faucet back on. And we'll pour out some, some of that. Okay, and that'll go into here. And we should be able to turn one of those servos into a signalum or a reinforcement. Signal them server. Okay, that's just what it's called. Good stuff. And there we go. One more? Good. All right. Let's go over here and see if we can pull items out of that item duct just a little bit faster. Grab this and put them together. And what do you got? We get a signalum servo. Awesome. And then what we can do is maybe get that out of there. We might have to change the item duct as well. So let's do that. It's not the best item duct in the world, but it's something. So the so we may may have some issues there. Who knows? Do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've done something. Hmm. No, no. That's not opening. That's opening. How about... So, the inner chest. That's opening. But this one over here is not opening. Did I mess something? What did I mess up? Huh. Weird. Okay. Okay. So that signalum servo did or worked wonders there, apparently. Um, we may need to change the item duct, however. Let's take a look and see what we can do there. Is there anything faster than what we've got? Transfers items. Impulse. What does that require? Item duct opaque three of those 
plus Electrum plus Signalum. We can do that. We've got an Electrum ingot here, and we've got some regular item ducts. There's fluid duct. We can do that. Let's 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 try that out. Plated item duct. Uh opaque. No. This is the one. Excellent. Okay. So what we can do right here is Yep. We'll do signalum plated item duct. And then we'll put the signalum servo on there. And then we'll have extraction rates matching the transfer rate okay so it should be going faster maybe not yeah i don't know maybe a little bit okay well well that's not too shabby and then I still can't remember what the other thing I wanted to grow was. We've got the three, or we're not doing beetroot. I don't care about that. And spinach, if I can ever get any spinach, but I can't, I can't seem to get spinach out of my frosty gardens here. And I don't think we have any over in here. No spinach, that's seaweed. And we can put the seaweed up here just to keep the stacks together. But yeah, there's no spinach in here that I have seen. So I'm still waiting for spinach. And then I can have beef wellington. But until I get that, I can't have beef wellington. So so there we go. Anyway, uh, that, that about does it. That does it for what I wanted to accomplish today. Uh, we finally got to automated farming. And um, yeah. Not even cloche. All right. Well, I I can't do all the puns like Dadcraft does. I can write them down, but I don't know if I can deliver them quite as smoothly as he does. And if we come up with something to put in here, well, let me know. If, if there's something I'm missing that I should be growing, tell me. Because I can't I can't for the life of me remember. But but yeah, that's gonna be it. Let's uh let's come around here and say. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time, a little bit of the time of your day with me. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. Check out the links in the description box below. We got a public Discord server going. Feel free to join over there. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.